keep changing this city, baby. I love you. I'll see you tonight. Niggas in the bag. Might come back, check with her. Who's in the bag? Might come back, check with her. They call me bad. What's up guys, I'm super excited right now. Welcome back to the channel. If you don't know, my name's Ryan and I'm wicked proud to be making this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, before the video starts, just go hit that subscribe button right now. It would mean so much to me and enjoy the vid. This is my 2010 BMW 335i Extra. How I bought this car was a uh, pretty crazy experience. I've wanted this car for so long. I've owned a BMW 330. I've owned a Mustang Saline, and I know what you guys are saying. <laughs> Who goes from a Mustang to a BMW? I was searching on Facebook Marketplace one day. I do not recommend Facebook Marketplace. They are scammers, so be careful when you guys are out there. I actually got scammed once for wheels. There are no 335s like in New Hampshire at all that are clean. There was a listing in New York that was about three hours for me. I showed my dad, he was sketched out at first because three hour drive for something you can't see and you don't even know if it's true. We decided to get a trailer, uh, make the trip, and it was the best decision of my life. All right, so I wanna talk about the specs of this car. So uh, this car is a 2010. It's pre-LCI, mixed with LCI. It's got, it's got the LCI mirrors, kind of a weird car. It's in the mix. I kind of like that it's like the combination of the both. It has the LCI navigation uh, and the, the control unit. I don't know what it's called, but uh, it's definitely the better unit. If you're gonna get these cars, try and get it with no iDrive unless you have the upgraded uh, head unit because you will have problems in the future. So the paint color uh, is space gray. I feel like space gray is kind of one of the coolest coolest colors uh, I've seen a lot of m3s I was searching for m3s and stuff like that and space gray always popped up and I'm like oh my god like I want a space gray so bad and this car was space gray and I was like holy crap and the best part of all it's got the red interior so it's got coral red interior which I feel like is just completes the car uh, the fact that I got it in space gray with the red interior just blew my mind with manual transmission all-wheel drive 74,000 miles on it like this car was everything that I've ever could have wanted the sounds this car makes are unreal the turbo noises the exhaust everything I bought this car knowing that it was well maintained it was still actually under BMW warranty so it was the perfect fit for me the paint was good everything was good so the car has 78,000 miles right now on it i bought it with 74,000. so i put 4,000 miles on in about two months one and a half i drive it a lot it's my daily it's the only car i have right now i do not want it to be my daily in the future all right so uh for mods and stuff like that so obviously i bought the car pretty stock the guy did charge pipe catch can intake which is just common stuff people do with the m54s my car does look pretty stock because most of the stuff i've done is just cosmetics so i've done stickers decals stuff like that just to make it stand out a little more the first major thing i installed was an intercooler so i was searching facebook marketplace again i tried to make a video on the install but it was really early in making videos and it wasn't really that good so i didn't decide to make a video on it the car runs really good, runs really cool, especially in this 90 degree heat we've been getting. Yeah, it's been wicked hot lately and an intercooler is a must and I'm glad I did that. The next thing I did was kind of like the biggest thing or like most common thing that people do is tune the car. 300 horsepower to me 
wasn't fast enough, surprisingly. I installed MHD, which is a trusted source, and I went stage one plus because that's what uh, the tune recommends because I only have the intercooler. I plan on getting downpipe soon. I'll make a video of that, obviously, but right now I'm stage one plus, which is supposedly 400 horsepower to all the wheels. So I've been having a little more fun than you already get with this car, as you guys can see in my previous video. If you guys haven't watched that, go watch that. I raced a Jeep. The next major thing I did was change the shift knob. The manual shift shift knob is, it's pretty long. Yeah, that was one of the first things I did was I hated that. It was such a long throw, so I got the ZHP shift knob and best shift knob ever. You do not need a short shifter in this car. Uh, you can have it. I'm probably never going to get it. I have the BMS oil catch cam, which is a must in these cars because you do not want any excess oil going back into the intake. That would be very bad. So I recommend getting an uh, oil catch can if you guys don't have it in your N54s or N55s, I think. But definitely for N54s, have that oil catch can. Charge pipe, regardless of tuning your car or keeping it stock, your charge pipe will blow up. So I have a Cobb charge pipe right now. Anything is better than that cheap plastic one. So go out, get a charge pipe. It's really easy to install. Uh, there's probably a bunch of videos on it, how to install it. So definitely get one of those. On the rear, I have a uh, M4 carbon fiber wing that's fitted for the E92 chassis. Uh, I think it's really cool. It's not too aggressive. It definitely fits the car. It's not like out of the ordinary, but it makes the car look so much meaner down the road. Also on the rear, I tinted uh, the taillights. I chose air release film because to me, I feel like it's the best. I recommend I recommend uh, air release. Definitely don't use water base for the taillights because you will have a lot of bubbles. I've pretty much done the basic needs to maintain the car, keep it running good while also making the appearance a little different, making it my own, making it unique to other BMWs out on the street. And I think that it looks really good right now and this is just the beginning. I have wheels coming soon, which I'm super hyped about. Oh, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of like how I got the car, specs, uh, a little bit about the car, all the mods that I've done. And I just have so much more to do and this is just the beginning. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Stay tuned, I got so much more coming and I'll see you guys later.